Hello everyone and welcome to Counselor Feature Friday. I'm your host, Brian Urban. In these features, we hope to give you some simple tips, tidbits, and tricks to make your days easier and your patients happier. In this feature, we're going to talk about tracking medications. We'll start here in the patient visit screen and then we'll go to the medications tab. This is of course the area where you can enter medications one by one, uh, either prior to the patient encounter or after. Uh, there are also some other tools built in to help you bring in the information, so you don't have to enter it manually each time. So we'll start first with those tools. You can import previous uh, medications. So in that case, if you if you track the medications on previous encounters for this patient, you can simply just click Import Previous, and it will bring it in. So we can see this patient previously, um, we know they had uh, used aspirin and warfarin and the dosage and frequency and method delivery. Now, if this has changed, of course, you could pop in and make the change. It's very important to note that medications are tracked on a patient encounter by a patient encounter basis, meaning that each time you see a patient, if you track the medications, counselors are going to log that. And then, of course, as you can see here, you can, you can carry that forward to the next visit if you wish. So let's just say, for example, that this patient was taking uh, aspirin four times per day, and now he's been cutting back on that, and now he's down to two times per day. Okay, great. So we'll go ahead and make that change. That what, without having to go through all the machinations of adding all the details, we're able to update the medications right from here. You'll also note that any um, medications uh, that are in, in, indicated for potential concerns relating to um, odor or vestibular toxicity will show up here as well. So the, it gives you that quick alert in this case saying that aspirin has moderate high, uh, moderate hearing toxicity um, and gives you a brief message there. Right, so you'll see uh, alerts automatically. All right, so that's how you bring the medications back from a previous encounter. Uh, you also can pull these in from a questionnaire. So if you do have the medications question as part of your intake forms, case histories, questionnaires, you can simply click on import questionnaire. You can view the questionnaire or you can click import and that will bring in those results. Okay, so same idea as we saw with importing the previous, you would then just see them populate straight away. All right. Now, whether you have imported from the previous, from the questionnaire, or you've just, or you know, and you want to add to this, or you're just starting from scratch, of course, you always can click on add medication. And this gives you the ability, of course, to type in um, whatever you're looking for. It's going to help you do an auto search. And then you can enter information from here. Okay. Uh, so let's just enter some really generic info here. All right. Now you can say, okay, that's all I need. That's the one med I want to add or I want to save and add another. Okay, let's save and add another. So let's go ahead here and there we go. Interesting uh, drug cocktail here. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, now what we're gonna see is that we've added two more medications to the list with the specific details. If need be, you can reshuffle these if there's any reason you wanna prioritize in the list. Uh, once again, we can see the, uh, the alerts related to specific medications as well. All right, so this, this is the logging within the patient visit itself. Now let's look at how this can be visualized in other areas of the system. First off, you can bring open a medications report. This is a PDF that's gonna show not only the medications for today, but it's also going to show uh, the previous medications as well, previous encounters, the medication for previous encounters, I'm trying to say. So here we see the visit date for today, the medications, I'm sorry, the, the uh, medication alerts, along with the specifics on these medications. All right, uh, as we go down, now we see one from a couple weeks ago. As we go further down, we see one from, uh, from June, right? So the point being is that you can see in this medication report what has happened previously and what's happening currently. Um, once again, that's available directly from the uh, patient visit screen. It's also available from within the patient profile. So if you go back to the patient profile, once you have medications entered, you'll see there now is a medication report option included. And of course, when you click on that, that's the same report we just saw. Okay, so two ways to access that same PDF. All right, let's jump back into the visit here. Now let's say we wanna build this language into our professional report. We wanna build this into our chart note, right? There's maybe different purposes for this. Uh, so let's jump to the professional report first. So. Uh, for example, maybe in the history section, you want to have the medications that you tracked. Now, you can go in and you could type some language in and, and grab the placeholders uh, that are specific to medications, right? There are three. Uh, this would be a, a just a, listing the names of the medications. 
This would have the medications with her full detail, meaning it would show the dosage, frequency, frequency, et cetera. And this one would have the medication name plus the alert, right? So uh, just depends on how you want to display that information. So you can grab that individually or, uh, and we're happy to assist with this, you can have templates set up. Right, so that would say, okay, in this case, I just want to show the names. In this case, I want to show full detail. In this case, I want to show full detail with alerts. Right, so you can choose. So let's just grab this middle one. That's grab full detail. What you're going to see, of course, is just a placeholder. Right, you don't have to do anything. When I go back to the main screen, what we're going to see is that now it is filled in. Okay, current medications. It lists off all of those details straight away. Okay. Now, of course, these placeholders can be used in any section. So most commonly they're in the history, but you could have them elsewhere. Uh, you could build them into results, recommendations, the custom section. Another potential area would be the chart notes. Uh, you could store that as well. Although it's important to note that because you're storing the medications here, it is part of the visit record. So you don't necessarily have to document it elsewhere unless you want to for general visibility or you're sharing these chart notes with outside you know, uh, you know, referring physicians with senior facilities with uh, maybe areas where you want to communicate that information. So that's obviously an option as well. Uh, but the point being is it's very simple to add medications on the fly to pull in results or medications, I should say, from previous encounters, from questionnaires the patient has completed, as well as display them within your reports, within your chart notes, as well as within the medications report. Of course, if you have any questions about how to utilize this feature, please give us a call, email us, live chat us. We are always happy to help. Thank you so very much for joining us for today's Counselor Feature Friday. And as always, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.